Hey guys, it's Melissa here with a Raw Lifestyle and I just got back from the farmer's market and I've always had this burning question. Doing my research with, um, you know, finding out about genetically modified foods and such, I guess I just found it really hard to believe that a food can be produced seedless, you know, especially fruits, and not be modified somehow, right? I mean, there's seeds in every fruit. <laughs> So anyways, I'm at the farmer's market, and I just randomly decided to ask the um, farmer. I saw a bunch of watermelons, wasn't planning on buying one, but it said seedless all over the place. So I go and I just randomly just spread it, asked them. I said, how do you get seedless watermelons? So here's what the farmer said to the answer to my question. This watermelon, you know, like are it's, they? Uh, what they do is uh, plants have D DNA and everything, just like us. So what they go and do, they go inside the DNA, they take out what makes it, what has seeds. It's a hybrid, yeah. Just... So it's modified. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't want to see this one. Do you have any that are non-seedless? Yep. Right on the seeded end. ones okay. right on the end. I'll check those out. Thank you. They're I was also, wondering about that. That was like a burning question. Sure. It, it, These it doesn't are? do anything yep. to, like, it doesn't change the, the watermelon, like, doesn't make it taste different or anything like that. Well, it doesn't make it, like... They're not as mature, so those ones are typically sweeter. What he's trying to say is that it doesn't it doesn't mess up the actual taste or look of the watermelon in any way. Or anything health-wise. No. That's good information. Do you feel like it's the same with corn, then? you think when they GMO corn to make it Roundup Ready, it doesn't affect the corn, then, or...? I would, I would imagine it wouldn't. I imagine uh, it mess it up. Okay. Um, you want the water on, uh, these are less mature though. That's why they're not long. Yeah, I wondered why they were always smaller. Yep, that's why. They're, you guys, they're, picked, they're picked less mature. You guys definitely know your watermelon. <laughs> Thank you. What did you say? I said you guys definitely know your watermelon. Yeah, so what's the secret to finding a good one then, like that's ready to eat in like two days or something? Okay. Um, does, we don't typically go by day. That one right there sounds really good. You so can see the bottom long? of that. Really, that's the first thing I always look at, if it's dark yellow, okay? This has a really good stomach on it. You tap it, it sounds hollow. Also, the outside is green, darker green. See how this is lighter green here? Mm -hmm. The darker the green, the more ripe it's going to be inside. So this is darker green, this is darker green. That mel that melon right there is really good. I would go with that one if I were you. We're going to get a seeded one. You help me find a seeded one? Help you find a seeded Thank one. you. A big one though. Oh, these are funny shaped. A lot bigger. A lot bigger. That one right there sounds so good. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That one's really good. So what do you all think? Do you think a seedless watermelon is a GMO product, a genetically modified, you know, piece of fruit to make it seedless? Do you think they're just picked? Uh, prematurely so before maybe that they develop their seeds do you think it's a combination of both I'd love to hear what you guys thoughts are because this is something that has really been bugging me for a while you know I see organic seedless watermelon um, and I thought organic means it's not GMO no matter what so very curious um, you know these were good big ones they weren't the real real small ones that are organic seedless so maybe those ones are picked you know prematurely I'm not sure but I'd love to know what you all think do, do, 